Okay, here's a problem that someone out in cyberspace sent to me, and this is really a pretty good problem, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video on it. Convert 0 0.2083 repeating to a fraction. Now notice that only the 3 repeats, so it's 0 0.20833333 and so on. Now any repeating decimal, including this one, can be written as a rational number or a fraction. And the technique is this. I'm going to say x is equal to this number, so x is equal to 0 0.208333, and these threes go on forever. And since there's one digit that repeats, just the three, what I do is multiply both sides of this equation by 10. If there were two digits that repeated, I would multiply both sides by 100. If three digits repeated, I would multiply both sides by 1,000. But there's a single digit that repeats, so I multiply both sides of this equation by 10. So on the left, I get 10x, and on the right, multiplying by 10 just moves the decimal to the right one place. So on the right, I get 2.083, and these threes still go on forever and ever. Now, x is equal to this, and 10x is equal to that. So 10x minus x has to be that minus this. So I'll say that again. 10x is equal to 2.08, 3 repeating, and x is equal to this number. So 10x minus x has to be this minus this. And I'm going to write that. I'm going to write 10x minus x has to be, and then I'll write this out, the 2.08 number repeating minus that number repeating. So this is going to be 2.08 three, 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 and so on. Those threes go on forever. Minus, and I'm going to write it down here, minus 0 0.208333, and those threes go on forever. Now, I've written this in a way that helps me subtract. Remember, when you subtract, your decimal points are always lined up, so those, those decimal points are lined up right there, and then these are my tenths and hundredths and thousandths and so on, and all those digits are lined up in the correct columns. And you should be able to see that over here in the, the ten thousandths place and beyond, all of these threes here are going to cancel out. Because all the threes from this row get subtracted away in this second row. And so this problem just becomes what's left right here, the 2.083 minus the 0.208. So on the left I have 10x minus x, that's 9x. And on the right, I have 2.083 minus 0.208. And you can work that out. You could work it out by hand, or you could pull it up on the calculator here. I'll just punch it in. This is 2.083 minus 0.208. And that comes out to 1.875. So 9x is equal to 1.875. Now, this 0.875, that rings a bell, just because I happen to know my fractions. Um, I'll come over here and write this on the side. I happen to know, just because I'm familiar with fractions, that 1 eighth is equal to 0.125, and 2 eighths is equal to a fourth, which is 0.25. 3 eighths is equal to 0.375. Bear with me here. 4 eighths is a half, or 0.5. 5 eighths is 0.625, 6 eighths is 3 fourths or 0.75, and 7 eighths is equal to 0.875. So this 7 eighths, this 0.875 is the same as 7 eighths, so 1.875 is 1 and 7 eighths, and I'll write this as a fraction. I'll write 9x is 1 and 7 eighths. And 1 and 7 eighths can be written as 15 eighths. So I get 9x is equal to 15 over 8. Now I'm trying to solve for x. I'm trying to figure out what x is. I have 9 times x, so I'm just going to multiply both sides by 1 ninth. And over on the left, this 9 here cancels with this, because this 9 here, remember, is really 9 over 1. So that 9 is in the numerator, and it cancels out with this one. 
in the denominator. So now I'm just left with x. So I'm going to continue this right up here. x on the left equals 15 over 8 times 9. And I could uh, work out 8 times 9, but I notice here that the 15 and the 9 are both divisible by 3. So I'm going to divide the 15 by 3 and divide the 9 by 3. And 15 divided by 3 gives me a, a 5, and 9 divided by 3 gives me 3. So I just have 5 over 8 times 3, or x is 5 over 24, 5 24 so That should be my answer. And we can check this just by pulling the calculator back up and typing in 5 divided by 24. And it should be 0 0.2083 repeating. So 5 divided by 24, and hit enter, and there it is, 0 0.2083333 to as many places as the calculator can display it.